One of the things that really shook me was Elon suspending Kathy Griffin over uh, impersonation, blah, 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 after he introduced the Twitter blue buying your way into the verification system that Twitter has employed for the last uh, 14 years or so. And because of that, from a personal perspective, what happened was Kathy Griffin was no longer available for me as somebody who I look up to on the social media platform as a means of emotional stability or as a means of humor and uh, a power for the freedom of expression in our country. One of many voices, but a vocal voice, and especially an important one in the context of free speech, because she was the first one, first big major celebrity that Donald Trump went after as a sitting president and brought down the whole weight of the federal government on Kathy Griffin for expressing her views on what she thought about the political situation in the country at the time. And not to comment on the content of her, of her expression, it was expression. And it caused a huge ripple effect. And it drastically changed this courageous person's life who puts herself out there every single day to raise awareness for basic things that we take for granted, like to be able to say whatever the fuck we want, as long as it doesn't harm somebody, as long as it doesn't incite violence, as long as it doesn't show an intention of causing violence to somebody with the intention of slander or libel. And you might wonder, how are you saying that about Kathy Griffin with that uh, picture with the cutoff uh, the, about the mannequin head or the mask with ketchup on it. And ketchup is somewhat prescient in this situation. It was a very, very, very close, close razor call of freedom of expression. And Kathy Griffin demonstrated to the world what the consequence of expressing your uh yourself can be when there is a fascist in power and she is she perhaps stands as a warning and as an example for all of us of what to expect if society goes fascist full fascist and then to see her being suspended for impersonating and making fun of elon musk for something that is so obviously and blatantly stupid by trying to handle a social media company as if it, it were uh, a company that makes rocket ships and cars, it sent out a message that Elon Musk, first of all, doesn't know what he's doing. And also that we were going to see an era of disruptive disinformation that will be over the top. 